Hello Rabbags, it's Jade, welcome to a special grounded video today, E3 Xbox, there was a reveal for the brand new content coming to Grounded very very soon and it's the return of the Broodmother and Mushroom Bill pieces. We're also going to get a chance to have our first pet ever, aphids are coming and you can pet them. So as always the first with the Grounded news and the best in survival, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like and let's cover everything you need to know about the update hitting on June the 30th. So back in March I showed you guys that mushroom bill pieces were going to be incoming. We saw them with, as usual, a little bit of a leak with part of the updates. You weren't able to build or do anything with them, but I could show you them in the actual crafting menu. The crow roof pieces as well as obviously the mushroom chunks that we're going to be gathering to make it. Apparently mushroom bricks are a real thing and they are actually incredibly strong. So that was then and then fast forward till May we didn't get the update for Grounded but of course it does mean they've been working on this. And it's a nice way I think coming up to the one year anniversary to celebrate Grounded. The Broodmother is returning so we're going to go over the trailer see if we can spot anything new then we'll talk about any of the other things like the features that we need to go over as well. So I've slowed the trailer right down, let's go over it, but there is some extra excitement. Achievements are also coming as it will be revealed, and this definitely is going to be the big update to celebrate one year of Grounded. I don't think necessarily we're going to get as big a one in maybe July. That's when it did actually come out was last July. But it starts off in the dark with some bugs, you know, the usual, some titles, and obviously a funny voiceover as always, showing some of the bugs and the creatures that have been added over the year. But you can see the one year candle torch on top of the Oreo cookie cake and that's a nice little touch too showing off all the stuff that's been added in that time like the quiet fish pond update i would give their progress a good solid 8 out of 10 i think they've added some good content updates sometimes it has been a little bit small on sides some months but considering such a small team it's great but this is the exciting stuff look at all this gear Take a look at these new armor pieces. We've got the wizard's hat. I've been showing this or telling you guys about it for ages. Again, it's been in the game files. I've shown you a little picture of it in the past, but we couldn't really get it to actually try or wear on. It didn't have any more stats. And then there seems to be a mixture of new stuff. Is this the black armor or the black ant armor that we're going to be getting? And it really looks good. It's the centurion helmet that Max is wearing on the right hand side. You can see it's very pronounced. It definitely looks to me like it is going to be maybe the black ant armor. So is that going to be part of it or come in as well? Not 100% sure. Pete looks like he's definitely also holding a new rounded shield. And the crossbow that I have shown you guys actually working in game, held again by Max, is going to be as part of this update. So that's some cool stuff, some really nice items coming in. I think 100% what confirms this is the black ant armor gear is on Pete, his helmet. It looks exactly like the ant armor one, but black. Now we've kind of believed that the haze would be the next environment they'd be taking a look at, but it doesn't really show it off as much in this one. Instead, we do get to see some new crafting options. What is that? I'm guessing that's how we're going to make bricks out of the slush from mushrooms. We're going to have to get the mushrooms and grind them up. We get another chance to see Max using the black ant's armor. And is that a new sword or is that just the mosquito one? And next up looks like they're going to be revisiting some areas and maybe adding some more dangerous creatures to them once more. Not the koi fish pond, but instead it does look like the hedge may be the home of some mosquitoes again in the future. You never know, they might have just done it just for the trailer, but the way that this guy is following Pete here makes me think they're going to spruce up the hedge, even make it harder. And that would kind of make sense if it's got the Broodmother and it is going to be another boss fight. Then just the usual imagery of stuff that's been added, like the crow, uh, maybe giving a sign what we're going to be doing. And then we've got the bees. There may be an updated model on the honey there, I'm not too sure. It's been a while since I've seen it. Then it shows off some swimming in the water. I don't know what significance of that is. Again, maybe just highlighting some of the build pieces they've added since obviously it's released into early access. And then the Shroom and Doom update title. So this is what the update's going to be called and it will be coming on the 30th of June, which is great news because I'll be back for my little mini holiday so I can actually take part and show you guys a bunch of new stuff. Are some of these some new emotes or are they just doing the old ones? I'm pretty sure some of these are already in there and again it's just highlighting everything they've done. So it's a nice mix of showing some new stuff and older stuff. We have got a little bit of Pete sitting down. The devs made a big joke of it in this trailer that everyone wanted to see the characters being able to see it down so that's going to be a thing as part of the update 
And up next is how we're going to hopefully be able to get our first pet, the aphid. Again, this feels like it's much earlier than I thought. This has obviously been a big surprise I've been keeping for a while. In the actual features board, this is planned, but maybe I didn't expect to see this as soon. So it's a good start. We're going to have an aphid follow us around. I don't know if it's going to have any skills or abilities or give us any sort of buff. I kind of hope so. I hope it's not just the case of it just follows you around. I hope it does give you something, but it should be interesting. Here's part of the new building material we're going to have to harvest to make our bricks. You can see the toadstools breaking down. And here we finally get a chance to see the actual mushroom build pieces. They do look pretty much like the art that I showed you off, guys, back in March. And it's going to be fantastic to build some castles. Really looking forward to this one. And we'll be able to grow our own mushrooms too. This is the perfect excuse for me to get really back into Grounded and do lots of content over the next weeks and stuff. So expect a full Let's Play from me over the weekends for the next couple of weeks leading up to this big update. And once again, we return to the hedge to take on that Broodmother. So yeah, they did remove the Broodmother. It was the Broodmother, which was just basically a giant normal spider, as well as the Woolly One. The Woolly One was the Broodmother, I should say, I think. I think. It's been a while since I took it on. I was one of the first to show you guys that it existed. And yeah, it was pretty dangerous. But it does look like they may have changed it. Maybe they've just moved the Broodmother's location again, just for this trailer. But it does look like the Broodmother is in a tunnel and is no longer going to be on top of a frisbee. It's much changed. It is definitely scarier. If you're not a fan of spiders now, man, I can't wait to see what the blob mode looks like this. It's absolutely huge. This is the perfect time to just pause and take a picture of the Broodmother, otherwise known as the Breadmother, I like to call it. Uh, and look, it's going to shoot out something at you as well. It's proper terrifying, but yeah, showing off the photo mode again, another thing they've added over the last year. And hopefully, what is it like with the Arachnophobia safety mode on? Hey, just a big dough ball. That, that's okay. I might be able to handle that one. And then that's pretty much it again, just showing off some secrets like the ant cave where you find the uh, backpack and the skeleton body. If you haven't seen that already, I, I've kind of covered a lot of this stuff over the last year. I feel like I've been there every step of the way, but definitely in the last few months, I've not been able to put as much time into Grounded. So I'm looking forward to reignite that a little bit. But you can see there it is, a little homage to the forest, if you didn't know. And then, yeah, just bouncing around again, showing off more stuff that got added into the game and a working hoop. Um, I don't think I've ever really used them or made a proper game out of them. So that'll be something to do in the next few weeks too. And just going over the big food. Again, no real armor reveals there. That does look like it's just the hat that we've seen already. So yeah, a nice little video showcasing everything they've added over the year. But with some new stuff, all part of this big update. And just some additional info, even hotter off the press, I asked Eric, the community manager on Twitter, whether or not we were going to get this on the test server. And he has said, yes, they will be adding it to the test servers. So we're going to help them find any bugs, any issues from probably a week before. So I'm expecting this fully to go live on the 23rd, maybe the 24th of the June and then obviously the full update live for everyone if you're not interested in trying it out on test server on the 30th of June. Let me know what you think about this. Is this going to get you back into Grounded? I know some of you guys have been away a little bit waiting for more content to come. And I think this is a nice big chunky update. I'm really excited about the, the pieces for the castles. And yeah, it'll be a challenge going and taking on the Broodmother once more. As always, the home of survival games, news, guides and tutorials as well as opinion. Make sure you're locked onto my channel and I'll see you guys hopefully, hopefully for that test content. Although I will be on holiday very, very soon, just after. So I'm praying I'll get time to get it on. But I will be back definitely for full launch to show you guys everything you need to know about taming and taking on the Broodmother. Until next time, Ratbags. Laters.